Tell me how you're feeling, Grace. I'm, I'm feeling fine. Um, I woke up this morning with pains at 7.30. They weren't that bad. Um, I've been walking around a lot. I read that's good for labor. Uh, I'm so ready for this. I'm so tired of being pregnant. Oh, I'm feeling one now. Is it okay if I feel what's happening while we talk? Mm -hmm. How painful are your contractions? Do you have to stop what you're doing and breathe through them? They're pretty painful. I mean, sometimes I have to breathe with them. And have you been able to time the contractions? Well, well sometimes. I think they're about six to eight minutes apart. Mm -hmm. um, have you noticed any vaginal discharge or blood stains? Do you notice any fluid leaking from your vagina? Um, there is a little uh, slimy discharge. Mm -hmm. It looks like snot on my panties, but no blood. Um, and there's nothing like fluid coming out. And how's the baby moving? The baby's moving a lot, like she usually does. I thought babies were supposed to quiet down when labor starts. This little girl must be ready to come out. Any other discomfort like headache or nausea? No, I'm fine. I mean, my back is a little uncomfortable, but it's been like that for the past few weeks. Okay. And will there be someone with you during labor? I know your husband's away in Afghanistan. That must be hard for you. Yeah. I mean, well, we hope to stream the labor and the birth for him from here. Mm -hmm. See, I brought my computer, and that's going to have to be set up right away. And my mom is coming. Mm -hmm. She lives like an hour away, but she's on her way now. I told her I'm in labor. Well, hold on a minute, Grace. Uh, it's not quite clear to me yet that you're in labor. Let's take this one step at a time and see where you are. In typical first-time labors, we should have plenty of time to get everything arranged. What do you mean I'm not in labor? All the books say when your contractions are five minutes apart, you're already halfway through labor. And that means we only have a few hours to get everything set up the way I want it to be. Well, wait, hold on a minute. Let's not get ahead of ourselves here. Let's go ahead and figure this out. If you're ready, I'd like to listen to the baby and examine you. If you could go to the bathroom and empty your bladder, come back, and I'll examine you. Okay. I had a contraction when I was in the bathroom. And how long did it last? It didn't last very long. Okay, let's see how things are here. Very good. Okay, I'm going to listen to the baby's heart, okay? You are doing well. Baby sounds good. Heartbeat is 154. I'm going to examine you now. All right. Okay. If you don't mind bending your knees for me and dropping them to the side. And if I do anything that's uncomfortable, let me know and I will stop, okay? All right. Sorry. Okay. I'm feeling your cervix now. It's about two centimeters and it's getting thinner at 70% effaced. Oh, no, that's uncomfortable. I'm sorry. Don't press so hard. M move your hand to the left. I'm sorry. Let me breathe through this. Okay, the baby's 
head is in a good position and it's dropped nice and low into the pelvis. All done. Okay, you can relax now. Okay, you can get up now. I was so sure my cervix would be open by now. I've been having some really strong contractions. Does this mean I'm going to be sent home? I don't want to be sent home. Let's see how things stand right now and how we're going to proceed, okay? You started getting contractions at about 7.30 this morning. It is now 4.30 in the afternoon. You've been here in this room. We've been here together for about 20 minutes. You have had two contractions that palpate as mild and that you can breathe through. So what this means is that you're in early labor. You are not in active labor, which is perfectly fine, perfectly normal. It means baby's just not ready to come out yet. <laughs> 